Hey, it's Bill Gross, the LA probate expert with my weekly real estate market update. Zillow says Americans know more about the Kardashians and their love life, meaning the Kardashians' love life, and the NFL than they do about real estate buying. Can that be true? But more importantly, what are the implications and what are they doing with that information? Let's take a look at the details. So it, one of the things that's changed in my career in real estate, Zillow originally was a great source of data and information. The, the book written by the founder, uh, Zill Talk, is one of the best reads in real estate ever, analyzing the data. It was, it was industry changing. Since that time, they've become a huge company. More importantly, an advertising company. Their basic business is getting as many people as possible onto their website and then selling that information to other companies to tr who want to sell, the, sell them information. They're not a real estate agency, although they're trying to add that to their portfolio. They're not a real estate investor, though they tried that and lost money at that. They're just trying to get attention. But what does that mean? Well, oftentimes in all of our news, we're learning that the, ten the news that gets attention may not be the accurate news that gives you the information that will help you make good decisions. And that's true here as well. Let's go into the details. So Zillow created this quiz. How much do you know about the home buying process? It's cute. You answer some questions. One's about pop culture. One's about real estate. One's about the NFL. One's about real estate. One's about the Kardashians. One's about real estate. At the end, they give you a score comparing the two. Spoiler alert, I passed the one on real estate. I fell to one on popular culture. After that, they tally up all the information into a press release they send around the country. Now, this is just a form of advertising because once they have the data, they repackage it. The press release goes out. It's picked up by all these websites. And here's like the Longview News Journal picks it up, but they don't just pick up Zillow's information. They run it like, oops, they run it like it's an uh, uh, article on the website. If you subscribe to the Longview News Journal or you use them as a local source, they're in Texas, you would go to their website and look at real estate and you'd see this article. Americans know more about celebrity love lives. And it's by Zillow. But what's interesting is the actual author is Zillow. They just took the press release and reprinted it in full, surrounded with advertising opportunities, with all of Zillow's information exactly as Zillow packaged it. Hardly a news item, it's really just a fancy form of advertising. And thousands of newspapers around the country, thousands of websites run this as news. And it's, it's really hardly news, it's not designed to even educate you in the process. What's more important about that at the end of the day is the information in many cases, like much news today, is wrong, false, misleading, and can damage you regarding real estate. In this case, I think Zillow ends up with five main points. And I believe all f of the five, four are wrong and would misguide you if you're looking to buy a house. Let's go into the details. Number one, they say understand what you can afford. Now that sounds simple enough. And they say start with mortgage calculators or the Zillow affordability tools. Big fail. Why? Well, number one, most people don't really know the numbers. So if I ask you what you make, do you know if you're self-employed, that's the adjusted gross income, adding back retirement income? You probably don't know that. And so the question is, you want to find out what the house is going to cost monthly and see if you can swing that and make that work. A regular financial calculator can help you with that or an Excel spreadsheet. But these tools online, and Zillow's included, are going to ask you for your personal information and or put a tracking cookie on your identity on the internet. And wherever you go, you're going to get feeded, uh, fed articles on real estate and Zillow. And they're going to sell this information to third parties who are going to call you, email you, text you. I find most people don't like this information. So look, if you're thinking of buying a house and don't know the payments, call me. Call a professional real estate agent. Call a lender. Call your bank. Have them run the numbers for you to tell you what, the, what it would cost. But don't get yourself uh, an army of people chasing you to sell you something. Number two, they say, see if you qualify for down payment assistance. I find this is a rabbit hole. Now, again, they love you to go on the website and dig around forever. The reality is less than one in 100 people qualify for any kind of assistance. Now, if you're a first responder, military active service or veteran, a doctor, um, teachers, there's special programs in many cases, primarily middle income and below. But at the end of the day, very few people qualify for these programs. Also, MACE programs are so much paperwork, it can double and triple your loan processing time 
or you won't qualify for it because you make a little too much money at the end of the day. I've done loans where they qualified for the loan, but they didn't qualify for the assistance program because they made too much money the way the government, in that case, entity, uh, calculated it. So uh, rely on your agent. Ask them, are there down payment assistance programs for me, given my income, in the area I'm looking to buy? Ask your mortgage agent the same question. Professionals that do these every single month will know the answer to those questions. Number three, find an agent that you trust. Well, that sounds uh, innocent enough, and I would agree with that. However, they say use a, uh, Zillow's agent finder tool. Massive fail. Why? Well, there's two reasons really why. Number one, obviously the ones on Zillow are the ones that are paying Zillow to be seen, right? So now instead of getting somebody who's based on their results or their success, they're just paying more money than other people to get your attention. Is that the basis to pick an agent? Well, it is if you're Zillow. It's not if you're looking to buy a house effectively. The other problem is that many times the face you see, the person you see with all the ratings and all the love from all their customers is not the agent you're going to deal with. 90% of the Zillow sales are done through that program. There's a team leader and they just hire a bunch of the same uh, other agents that you might find in any other agency if you randomly called in or walked in the door. Much better for you would be to find somebody you know, like, and trust, friend, family, community member, and find the agent they work with and had success with and talk to that person to get the same result. Because going through an online service, you're either going to get the one that pays the most money or you can get delegated to somebody that the top agent doesn't want to do the work on. Number four, get pre-approved for mortgage. Absolutely. This is the winner. So when you buy, looking to buy a house, before you are ready, but when you're ready, if you find the right house to make an offer, you want to be a pre-approved. What's the difference? Pre-qualified means you know what you can qualify for. Pre-approved means you can show a, lend, uh, a listing agent or a seller, here's what I can buy. All I need is a contract, an appraisal, some paperwork, and we're ready to go. They've already reviewed my income credit and down payment. Now, Many lenders shortcut the process and put a pre-approval wording on a pre-qualification. That's why, as a professional listing agent, I call the lender. I read the letter in detail. I got one last night that wasn't worth the papers printed on, and the customer sheepishly called me up, agreed to that, and agreed to go to a legitimate lender to try to get pre-approved. So it's important you get pre-approved, but make sure the pre-approval is real, with a real lender. And then that feeds into the number five, which is shop around for a lender. Again, big fail in Zillow's part. They want you to go to their website and pick lenders, again, that are paying money to get your attention. And if you have to pay money in this business, something's really wrong. We've had the two best years of my career of 36 years. If you're still paying for advertisements, something's wrong with your program because you should have so many past clients working with you, you shouldn't need to do that. More importantly, again, sometimes the person on the ad is not the person you're really working with. But there's a third issue that's even more important. You should shop for service up front, shop for the price when you're ready to lock. What do I mean by that? If you're ready to look for a house today and you call 100 lenders, there'll be one with the lowest rate. The problem is it's almost like a, li a game of liars because they know you'll pick them based on the rate. They can promise whatever you want. You don't have a house. So it's kind of like selling somebody something you don't have. I can tell you today, I'll sell you ground beef for a dollar a pound. But you're not here buying ground beef. If you show up in my house, I charge you $10 a pound or $20 a pound. It doesn't matter what I say when you can't buy. It matters what the price is when you can buy. So shopping for rate up front is the mistake most buyers make. You want to shop for service. Find a reliable lender, number one. Number two, they can help you get the house. That lender should work with you and the agent as a team. Contacting the listing agent. Selling them on how good you are as a buyer so you get the property. Promising you to be competitive when the rates when it comes time to lock in. Then, when you're ready to fill out the loan contract, you have a house under contract, you need to order the appraisal, that's when you want to compare and make sure the rates are still competitive. So initially shop for service, reputation, and hard work, and then later verify that the rates are competitive to get you the best rate. So at the end of the day, I would say of Zillow's five criteria for or fail, one is you know probably good advice, get pre-approved beforehand. In conclusion, I would say that like most news, uh, Zillow, when they present things as news, is not news. It's an advertisement to get you to go on their platform and work with people that are paying them money. That's the sole criteria that they take to, to make, uh, make them available on their platform. If you want the best service possible, 
Work with real estate professionals with a track record, with a Rolodex of people who can help you get what you want. So if I can help you, call me, text me, email me. I'm Bill Groves, the LA Probate Expert. And as always, make today your best day ever.